Hi guys, it's me again. I'm going in with my eyebrows first. I'm taking that normal shade, that, that usual brown shade that I use from the Morphe 35OM palette using an angle brush spritzed with my Urban Decay setting spray. This time I did not spray it on, so I'm very proud of myself for that. I'm going in with a themed look today. You know, October is just around the corner. You blink and it's going to be right there. And at the end of October is, of course, Halloween. So this look is based on a character from a very popular video game. And it's one of my favorites, which I will reveal a little bit later on. If you haven't known already. Just cleaning up my eyebrows with my concealer. So because it's a themed look, I want my face to look a specific way. So I'm doing my eyebrows a little bit darker and I brought them a little bit closer together as well. Just gonna prime my eyes with my concealer and blending it through with my foundation brush. Now I'm going in with this baby today. The Dark Magic palette from The Vault. Beautiful color story. I'm starting off with a shade called Shh. It is literally called Shh. S-H-H-H. And it's a beautiful, cool toned brown. And I'm just using that as my transition shade with my no name fluffy brush. taking a smaller blending brush and I'm going to be using Potion, which is a gorgeous olive tone. And deepening my crease and extending it outwards a little bit, I want a little bit more of a winged out effect than I would normally. This is going to be a really dramatic look. Then blending it through again with my fluffy brush, just making sure everything's all cohesive going on in my crease as well. I'm taking the shadows a little bit higher up than I would normally as well. So taking a flat brush and going in with Busted, which is this beautiful blue color, and I'm placing that on the outer third of my eye and slightly in my crease. I'm gonna blend that out with Potion. Going back and forth again between Potion and Busted just to make sure that color is really nice and vibrant. Now this shade is called Diversion. It's a beautiful pewter kind of color. It's a little bit darker, it's not quite silver. It's really buttery and nice. Look at how yummy that shade is. So I'm just going in with my favorite tool, my finger, and just patting it all over my eyelid. Taking Trickery, which is a beautiful metallic forest green, I'm blending that in between Diversion and Busted. Going in now with power cuts and spritzing my brush a little bit and I'm using that as my inner corner highlight and then a transition into diversion as well. I don't normally do this with silver shadows like this but I'm using power cut again as my brow bone highlight. taking diversion again and packing that back on just making it a little bit more intense now onto my under eyes 
I'm going in with Kajal first because I want this to be a really intense look. It's a very intense smoky eye and this is also going to help um, blend in with my shadows really nicely. I'm starting with Busted and I'm going to be blending it and dragging it out to the edge of the winged out liner and shadows on top. Now blending it through with Potion. Now I'm just going to clean up all the fallout with some micellar water and a cotton pad. I actually have my face on already, I just have a little bit of Fenty foundation just because I wanted to have my skin primed already and I just need to clean up my under eyes with that and concealer. I'm going back in with Busted on the top lid and I'm using a flat angled brush just to intensify it a little bit more and then blending it through with Potion again. Finishing off with my mascara, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And this is the eyeshadow look. If you have your face on, you could just slap some lipstick on and that can be the end of it. But you'll see there's a little bit more to it than that. Just cleaning up my under eye, getting rid of those bags with my concealer. And now I'm going to contour. I'm using the same LA Girl brand of concealer, but I'm using mahogany, which is a cool tone brown. Now the character that I'm doing, or rather the race that I'm doing, they're called Dunmers. They're known as Dunmer. They're dark elves from the game Skyrim. And they have very elongated, very chiseled faces. So that's why the eyes are this swooping, angled look. And I'm, that's why I'm chiseling my cheekbones basically in that shape as well that much. And really accentuating all of my other features and blending out my jaw as well. Gonna contour my nose. I'm not really going for a button nose effect here like most people do. I'm really looking to slim it down and make it look a little bit longer than it normally is as well. Contouring of course adds shadows to the face and it really creates an illusion of what you want your face to look like. So I'm just going to take the Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm going to do some light baking just to add back some light in some areas and just to kind of clean up the contour. This is a flat brush that I just picked up randomly from one of the City Color collections. Now this is a liquid lipstick from Sephora. It is the shade 26 and it's a warm brown color and I'm using a liner brush. Now the Dunmer they have tribal markings and that is what I'm doing here. This is basically the other step that kind of makes it a Halloween look if you so want. They all have different markings and in the game when you're creating your character you can choose from several different ones. You can also choose to not have any um, tribal markings if you so desire. It's a very cool game and in it you're basically someone who is known as the Dragonborn, which means that you can speak the language of dragons. It's a gift 
and it's a very powerful gift in the game as well. Some people want to kill you, some people want to use you, and sometimes you just want to be left alone and just build your house in the middle of nowhere, which is one of the last things that I was doing in the game the last time that I played. I'm just cleaning up around my tribal markings with concealer and just blending it a little bit just to make it look even. I'm going to be using Framed from the Ring the Alarm palette from the vaults just to make the tribal markings a little bit more red in tone. This is a warm brown liquid lipstick but the shadow helps set the liquid lipstick and it also affects the color and makes it the color that I'm kind of going for as well. I'd like to think I'm normally pretty good with eyeliner, but sometimes when you're doing face paint or face makeup like this, I do make mistakes occasionally. It happens. Going back in for more tribal face paint. The original look that I was referencing from, she had markings going all the way up to her eyebrows. I do take this look there just a little bit, but I'm still putting my twist on it and simplifying it a little bit as well. A lot of the markings looked almost reptile like. So I'm just doing it just to kind of create that effect as well. Skyrim is one of those games that I definitely played hours on end. I remember one night Don left me playing it. He went to bed and he woke up a few hours later to get some water and he asked me what I was still doing up and I was like oh I'm playing Skyrim I'm trying to get past this quest and he goes Mick it's 4 a.m you need to go to sleep and I'm just like what I didn't know it was 4 a.m I didn't know it was that time I just kind of dumped the hours into it and you just really get lost in this other world and I mean the responsibility of being dragonborn in Skyrim it seems like such a bigger task and a bigger burden than just the normal trivial things that we deal with in day-to-day -day life and honestly I got so lost in the game. It's a beautiful game and it's a lot of fun as well. So just finishing up my tribal markings and setting them down again with framed. Just gonna finish off with a little lipstick. This is Brioche from the Bite Beauty Lab. And it's a multi stick, so you can use it on your eyes, your cheeks, lips, as I've used it here. Finishing touches. And that completes the look that I've done today. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any ideas, a favorite video game, a favorite character that you maybe want to see me do a Halloween video on, then please shoot me a message, write me a comment, anything is fine. Thank you for watching. Bye!